it. You're making all water go everywhere. <laughs> no, you're not going to go on the table. <laughs> Polly's like, what have you done? <laughs> What's the noise? Breathing. No, we're getting to her now. Oh. You want a drink? Need my GoPro, don't I? We are just taking little misses to go to the vets. Uh, all of us just putting some petrol in car because she's got a poorly eye so i will let you know how we get on once we've been to the vets <laughs> you have it the do you want to go on the scales <laughs> <laughs> A poorly pug. I'm gonna love you. Whatever happens with your eye. Yes, Penelope pug. It's all going on, isn't it, Polly? She has lots of drinks, don't you, Penelope pug? You okay? We're gonna get you better. We're gonna get you better. We are going to get you better and we're going to love you. We're going to love you. And you're part of our family now. Oh, we love you too, obviously. <laughs> Don't we? You're the originals. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Cheeky. Good evening. It's the first calm five minutes that we've had all day. We've had a very hectic, busy day. We have! It's spill it all! It's this thing, isn't it? It's this! But you were a bit mucky before. You're a mucky puppy! You're a mucky puppy! You're a mucky puppy! Are you home? Are you home? Are you home? Are you alone? Are you alone? You're sweet, aren't you? Are you going to get you better? Aren't we? It's all a lot, isn't it? It's a lot to take in. We have come back to our house for a few hours. We've got little Penelope with us. And I just thought I would kind of update you with what's been going on because I don't think I filmed anything with an update yesterday after we got back from the vets. Because yesterday was just so overwhelming. Um, we just had such a crazy day. So, basically, Penelope's eye is severely ulcerated and she's very close to losing the eye. So, we've got to go back on Monday to see how it's, you know, just to check it's not got worse, basically. We've been giving her three different ty types of drops every two hours and every four hours and alternating them oh there's my timer for the drops 
because I've just been having to leave a two hour timer on my phone just so that we don't miss any because we are going to do everything we can to save her eye you know it's not we don't know it's just touch and go with her eye at the moment really but yeah we're doing everything we can she's so much better at letting me put the drops in already like when we first started she didn't let me do it very it was quite a struggle but she's letting me do it a lot better now I'm not too bad at putting drops in dogs' eyes because I have had to do it with the pugs, like Polly and Peggy. Um, oh, look at her. <laughs> what she's doing at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, we came away from the vet to see put the cone on her, just because I think if even if she was to scratch her eye now, I think it would be game over. And if the other dogs, Polly and Peggy, were to go near her and even just knock it, I think it would just not be good at all. So yeah, the cone is the way at the moment. And Polly and Peggy were a little bit like wary of the cone because she's quite full on. She's quite boisterous compared to them. Obviously, because she's a young dog, she's 18 months, we think. or uh, She's no older than two, basically um yeah she's quite in their face and boisterous whereas they're really calm because they're like seven and eight so now she's got the cone on they're even more like aware of her um but yeah we just basically after we got back from the vets yesterday it was just an absolute mission of putting drops in until 10 o'clock last night um not really sure if we were supposed to be doing it throughout the night probably but I mean, she was only getting a certain type of drops twice a day, the ones that the kennel gave us, um, which we're supposed to be giving her every two hours. Um, and then we've got like a corneal gel, which is hopefully going to heal. And then one of them was antibiotics and pain relief. So, yeah, it was really full on yesterday. And we were just trying to make sure that all the girls were getting on put the drops in Penelope's eyes just sort of trying to get a bit of a routine so she slept really well throughout the night she went in her crate at 10 o'clock and yeah we turned the lights out about half 10 and she just slept really soundly she didn't she made a couple of little disgruntled noises but apart from that she was really settled um was expecting her to maybe crab and be a little bit unhappy in her crate I think she's obviously been in a crate before because she was so good in it. Like it wasn't like a new thing. Obviously she was in a kennel at the boarding place. But yeah, she slept really well through the night. And then this morning it was just getting them all used to each other again. And we thought we would bring her back to our house because we want her to get to know this house. Because we're just trying to get her a bit used to the two places until we know whether we're going away or if we're gonna stay because we need to look after her because her eyes so bad it's just been really really full-on and like a sack of responsibility has just been lumped on our shoulders which I was fully ready for and fully expecting um I wasn't gonna let her go I, I wanted her I want to look after her she you know, I feel like I was meant to have her and sort her out and we're going to give her a loving home, whatever happens. So we've just got to do our best at the moment and see see how it goes. So, yeah, she's having a little sleep on the sofa now at our house, which is going to be obviously her forever home. So, yeah, we might take her on a WALK in a bit because she's still got bundles of energy. I think where she was like created all week she's just got so much energy to burn so it's nice that she's having a bit of downtime here um yeah i'll um i'll report back later
Oh yeah. Penelope. <laughs> it's day three with <laughs> this crazy little punk. <laughs> oh, we've just taken her for a little walk because we're finished work. Um, we've walked up to a nearby park and do you mind? <laughs> I know, it must be annoying. It's on for a good reason. <laughs> I'm trying to film and this one's just like crazy. Don't oh god, that's gonna make a Um yeah we've just and we've walked her up to Pets at Home because oh I think I've been having my finger over the microphone, so hopefully that was okay. Um because she's not really eating the food that our other pugs have eaten which has been a raw meat diet you're mad you're silly can i talk it's all about you isn't it so we've gone up to pets at home to buy some <laughs> lily's kitchen food because i've heard that's meant to be really good why are you having a funny five minutes as you can see uh, she's settled in really well apart from the fact that she doesn't really like any food that we've given her yet and she holds her bladder like I've never known so yeah we're just trying to get used to her no that is so naughty <laughs> she's just trying to eat the camera strap oh okay I better go and speak when she's less crazy <laughs> We're going back to the vets later as well to check on her eye, so I uh, will let you know how we get on. It's on we? We're going back to the vets. Come on then. Mmm. eating. Good girl. That's the first meal we've seen you eat yeah. since Saturday. Good girl! And Lily's kitchen was the one. She's going back to clean the bowl. Good eye. Good evening. It is Wednesday now. Um, I think this is like day Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, day five. I've not even updated since Monday because it has been a very overwhelming few days. So I think the last thing that I'd said was that we were going back to the vets Monday evening with her little eye. And uh, basically, we'd got to the vets and he had been called in to do an emergency surgery. So we didn't even get to see him. And like one of his nurse, or like I don't know if it's like a veterinary nurse or something. She just had a quick look at Penelope's eye and she kind of like quickly took her in so that he could look at her the main vet could look at her eye and so he very briefly had a look and said that it looked a little bit better which we thought it did look a little bit better um so we're going back on f tomorrow thursday afternoon so i'll let you know how we get on with that and um, we've been putting the drops in very frequently we've been doing all we can to basically try and save her eye or just get it better really so yeah we've still been doing that um she is settling in really well um yeah it's, it's been too much to film really um we've just been trying to focus on settling her down at home and getting her into a routine um sorry if i look really rough i'm just trying to keep this as real as possible we've had a very stressful couple of days um it's been it's been really nice because she's she is a lovely dog she's very content um she really she follows me around i think she's really attached to me she knows i'm her mummy yeah she's like a little shadow um because we don't know very much about her background we are kind of just assuming a few things 
like um, that she's either been crated a lot of her life because she holds her bladder for very very long periods of time like nearly over 20 hours like really really long like despite the fact that we're taking her out for frequent like toilet stops taking her out to the grass to the park to nearby areas where dogs go um yeah she holds her bladder a lot so that's either because she's been in a crate a lot or because we don't know much about her past life um we're just trying to get her in a regular routine and we're trying to take her out um, so that she knows that she can relieve herself if she needs to on the grass and stuff. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit stressful because we've been sort of hoping that she's not got something, an issue with that because it's not really, I don't think that's normal holding for that long. But she doesn't seem like she's in any pain or anything. Um, and then Monday evening, the shit really did hit the fan a little bit um because we've been so preoccupied with her eye um we'd sort of just it's hindsight with this one really um we was sat on the sofa on monday evening with her and she was cuddling up to us and it was nice and she was settled and a flea jumped onto me so yeah that was pretty not good really um so we literally stripped the house of everything she'd kind of been on like that could be washed um washed everything like the blankets and her bedding and just tried to clean everything in like warm hot water like soapy water and spray a uh, anti-flea spray and put some treatment on her so yeah that was really stressful because it's just not very nice it's not very nice for her um she she doesn't she looks like she looks so well her coat looks clean um so it kind of just like because we've never rescued a dog before we've never really thought of anything like this i didn't you don't expect to, i don't know we, they hadn't told us at the kennels and it's not the first thing that you think to check because we were so like i say we were so preoccupied with her eye like we didn't even think of has she been you know uh, flea treat you know she'd been treated for fleas and stuff so yes it has been a very stressful week but she's got her treatment on our house is hopefully we've done all we can at the moment and we just need to spring clean in a couple of days hoover everything up um go over everything thoroughly so yeah she is absolutely lovely and i'm um, you know besotted with her already she's just part of our little family now but it hasn't been an easy week it really hasn't but the good news is she's happy um i think she's settling in really well and we're enjoying having her apart from all the stress basically um and she's eating and she's loving it i think i think she's having a nice little happy life here um yeah when we you know on monday it just oh someone's messaging me it was just really sad i think that was the moment where i thought has anyone loved this little doggy you know <sighs> poor little girl but luckily i think she's in the right place now and we're doing everything we can to get her sorted out and get her up to scratch so yeah a very eventful week really and it's not really we've not stopped this week but yeah we've tried to get her in her little new life routine and uh, she seems very happy so that's the main thing i'll show you what she's doing at the moment she's in her little she's in daddy's spot there she's in your spot yeah she's uh she likes the settee with us at night time and she has been sitting with her little paw and her head on Oliver's knee so that's been really nice so yeah I think she's settled in so that's the most important thing and we're trying to get her eye on track good morning hello hello there <laughs> hello today is Thursday and 
I finished my work for the morning and we've decided to wash Penelope before she goes to the vets this afternoon. Um, basically because of the fleas that are on her, there's a lot of kind of their feces and blood remains in her coat and I just thought now she's had her flea treatment on for a few days um, it might make her feel nice and fresh. Yes! Yes! You're going to have a bath! Gently! Gently! She's very pleased to see me because I've just come home from a few, after a few hours. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give her a wash and make her feel nice and fresh. So hopefully get a little bit of it on film. I'm not sure if you can see the colour of this bath water. So this is probably all that's been on her like body. Um, all the sort of dirt from the fleas. So I'm going to run this bath water out and then I'm going to give her a wash with some very mild baby shampoo. Hello. Home from work and uh, this little one's all dry. She uh, feel, feels lovely, don't you? You feel lovely and clean. I bet it feels better for you. And we are just waiting to go to the vets now. Um, hopefully he'll be able to see her today. Um, so yeah, she's in she's in good condition today. She's nice and clean and soft and uh, settled into her new life. So yeah, feeling good, feeling positive. Whatever happens now, you know, we'll just go with it. We've we've done our best, haven't we? We've done our best. Yes, she's had her bath. And Daddy's coming to the vet. My daddy, actually. Oliver's staying here to do some dinner for us. I get a little bit um, queasy when I go in the like surgery room with the vet and he's going into graphic detail about eyes and yeah silly me someone's got to be there that knows pug's eyes so that's what we're doing now and uh i'll maybe get a little clip of her on the scales i'm sure she's lost a little bit of weight she looks a bit leaner but yes all good all good it's been nice washing her today she's like a new girl a new doggy it you don't get too close nice little pee sample yesterday because uh, I'm not sure if I've said that she holds her wee for a very long time no it doesn't want to focus it's like that is too gross to focus on I need to write on it Nice and soft. <laughs> <laughs> You're clean. Thought I would quickly update you on the vets today. We've only just like had our dinner and then we've got to take her back out because she's not done a wee again. But her urine was fine. Like there was a little bit of blood in the sample, but it might just be the fact that she's been under a bit of stress this week and adapting to her new lifestyle. That was okay. Um, her eye, um, the vet is going to do a serum, which we've had with the other pugs as well. <laughs> you want to be the attention, don't you? Um, where he takes some of her blood and makes it into like an antibiotic serum thing, which is meant to heal the corneal. Corneal? Corneal. So we've got to drop her off in the morning at 11 and leave her there for a few hours. She's going to be knocked out. Um, so that's going to be horrible leaving her. But yeah, it's probably too long for me to wait in the vets and I don't really, I'm a bit queasy at the vets and stuff. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I'll update you tomorrow. Check you out. Careful. I am just waiting for Oliver to bring me a cup of tea in bed. Um, we've been, like, obviously because of the flea situation, we've not had Penelope like upstairs, well, especially on the bed and stuff. But um, because she's all clean now and stuff, and she can't have any breakfast this morning because she's being knocked out. She's not allowed any breakfast, so we're trying to not spend too much time in the kitchen this morning, even though she's not always that in she does eat her she has been eating her breakfast but she's more interested in her evening meal okay bubba so yeah we're just gonna have a cup of tea in bed then a busy morning um literally just about gonna have time to come back from work quickly put her in my 
car because I have been using Oliver's car because he's got a bigger boot um, and we've been putting the crate in the boot but I've got a seat belt so I'm gonna plug her into the seat belt in the back of my car take her to the vets it's not far from where we live luckily um, yeah I'm not looking forward to leaving her because she's quite attached to me and I hope she's not gonna like associate it with being left again but best for her really so we've got to do it haven't we daddy's face don't you you always sit in daddy's face <laughs> what's wrong with your toy oh she loves her belly rubbed <laughs> you're a little floozy you silly careful careful just put your drops in haven't we just go. And I'm gonna drop her off at the vets now. Not looking forward to it. There is this girl in the back. Can we go see the vets now? That was absolutely horrible leaving her. I knew it would be. I'd, I had to go into the like room and just like sign a consent form because obviously they're knocking her out and uh I had a phone call this morning from the council service like basically she's not had any vaccinations which they were supposed to do last week I don't know if she's been like spayed or anything like that I know they're gonna cut her little claws while she's knocked out but oh, the noise she made when I when I walked out the door was really I mean, she probably thinks that she's being left again I know I know I'm gonna see her again in a few hours but she's probably just yeah, it was really horrible <laughs> i've never i've never been like this like when we've left the girls at the vets before because they've never had like such a clingy relationship with me but because she's so dependent on me and i've you know she's it was just yeah it was horrible and i, I know it's for her benefit everything but it was pretty awful leaving her i was just I had to get out of that vet's surgery when she started the noise she made was just i've not heard her make that noise before oh it makes my heart so yeah i'm just at pets at home now i'm gonna get a like multi-pack of the lily's kitchen so that she's got lots of nice dinners when she comes home I have just got in from Pets at Home, got a little multi-pack of the tins of Lily's Kitchen because Penelope seems to like them and they're better value in the tins. So I'm just basically going to spend the morning and afternoon occupying myself so I'm not thinking too much. I have not long come in from the garden. As you can see I'm in a vest now. It is absolutely sweltering like it's the sun is shining really bright it was going to be warm this week so i've gone from like having a long sleeve t-shirt and jeans to a vest i'll just put you down a minute vest top that i was supposed to be taking on our holiday and shorts because i'm sweltering after doing my bit of gardening i was sat out the front and it was directly in the sunlight um so i'm really hot oliver has just rung me say he's left work he's on his way home so i'm going to make some lunch um, the vet said, the vet nurse sort of said maybe, well, the vet yesterday said it shouldn't be too long, but then she said maybe four o'clock, so I have no idea what's, what time we're going to get Penelope later. Um, but yeah, I just basically planted up some bedding flowers for the autumn um, to put out the front, because um, we've got like climbing roses. So it's nice to have a bit of colour in the autumn and winter. Um, so yeah that's what I've been doing um, they were a really good price actually the chrysanthemums from Tesco's there was like a tray of them like, they're, just, they're small plants but they'll get big for three pound which I got the other day that's a good job done and I'm gonna go make some lunch now and basically spend the rest of the day waiting for a phone call where's the dog Grace where is she mm. is it quiet is it a quiet house Hello. We're going to get our girl. <laughs> so she's already been here. What? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Coming home. There is Octel. Bless her. Got a clip 
strapped into her little seat belt. You're being chauffeured. <laughs> oh, it's been an overwhelming week, hasn't it, baby? Very special drops. It's got your blood in it. It's gonna make you better. Your tail's down. I would just wrap this vlog up because it's the end of our first week with Penelope and I've just been editing the vlog and it's already quite long so yeah I'm not sure if I'll vlog anymore next week because I'm sure it'll probably just be more of the same um like getting into a routine and more vet visits but yeah hopefully the new blood drops will work a treat and she won't have to have surgery but yeah we'll cross that road when we get there so hopefully you've enjoyed this um realistic first week of having our little rescue pug home and the ups and downs and everything that we've uh, been through this week but we're finishing the week on a positive note because we've got her home we've done our first week and uh, we're gonna get her better mm. and she's happy so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it and it's been, you know, try to keep it as real as possible this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.